Good morning and welcome to another one. Today I'm pumped guys, like you see on my background. This is Long Key Bridge, so yeah, we're fishing the Keys. I only have one day to spare. I hope uh, we find them today. So Long Key Bridge, for all you guys that never fish the Keys, is the way to start. You catch fish here, you catch all the species. Easy, access on both sides, plenty of room. Doesn't matter what day, like today is Sunday and so far nobody here. I'm here early morning though, look at that beautiful sunrise. Uh, we're just starting here. I got some white bait, some shrimp, and look at them. Even needlefish are giant here, guys. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one, guys. All right, you guys, we made it out here. Or that's how far I could walk. I'm tired already. You're gonna ask me why I didn't bring the bike. So, all families with me, I had no room for the bike, but I'll love to bring the bike next time and search every corner of this bridge. But anyway, a big chum block. It's necessary here, you only, not only bring in that uh, bait, but you bring in all these little fish that are gonna chew on your shrimp, so that way they're busy eating the chum, and your shrimp can make it farther away and see if the big ones are there and they're gonna get your shrimp, so that's the idea. We start with this area, I have heavy setup, medium, light, I have everything today. I'm gonna try for yellow tail snapper, for uh, yellow jacks, grouper, mountain snapper, Whatever else bite guys, I don't have a drop net. That's another necessary thing that you need for the keys. I don't know how you're gonna land the big fish, but I'll try. Been lazy, been planning to get my drop net for a while, but I haven't. So yeah, let's start with this, not bored you guys. And we'll see what we're starting. We have white bait, we have uh, dead shrimp, live shrimp. What else? Some live uh, greenbacks, we'll try everything. I just changed one of those days. I just got ready and look at that. I couldn't do it that side, so that's why uh, where the chum gonna be. They already gathered in there. Look at that barracuda. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's a nice barracuda right there around the chum and a lot of little guys. So they're gathering. That's what we want. I mean, I'll, I like to fish the, the under that the highway, but it's nothing we can do. Already changed. So yeah, let's get ready and start fishing this side then. All right, almost ready, guys. We're still gonna send this big one on 40 pound uh, leader. We had this for tarp on free lining, so I'm just gonna leave it the same way. Put two ounce of uh, weight in there, number two uh, circle hook. We're gonna hook this big shrimp right on the head like that. It's jumbo live shrimp. And we're gonna send this as far as we can. Then I see the chum already brought some big fish there, some yellow tails and some other, I can't tell what they are. We're gonna drop some cut bait, some live stream there as well. Oh yeah. The reason I'm leaving a 40 pound, you know, I don't wanna go heavier in case any mutton snapper or a yellow jack. Make sure we have that on a pole holder. I only brought one on pole holder, I forgot the rest. I see people here leave the rods on the ground. Yeah, that's not a good idea. So we're gonna switch that on uh, any cut bait later or uh, any white bait and use the shrimp on our medium or light rods. And we're gonna drop one free lining down there. I think I have one ready. Uh, yeah. So this is ready with this little uh, yellow tail jig. That's all you need is this tiny weighted uh, hook. We can even use little cut uh, shrimp. We're not gonna use our life. We need our life shrimp for later in case we run to a good uh, good bite. Just gonna use dead shrimp for now. See what's what's biting down there. Yeah, let's start with the yellow tail jig. We're covering all the jig with a piece of shrimp. Some dead shrimp ready here. All you need for uh, yellow tails, guys. Just a little piece. You can use live shrimp, but man, there's so many small fish here. You need. 20, uh, 20 dozen of uh, live ones here. So we mostly gonna do cut bait for them. Oh, first fish is a kuda on a light tackle. Ah. Look at that cuda. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Let me see, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at that Kuda on a tiny hook on that uh, yellow tail jig. Look at him. Let me bring him up for you guys. Oh man, first fish is a Kuda. And I cannot do much. Woo! That's why you need that, uh, that uh, drop net, guys. Now I'm mad. Losing a nice fish. I'm surprised he hasn't break this uh, little hook yet. Man! Look, look at him. Look how big he is. Let me bring him up again. One sec. Working with one hand here. Let me bring him up. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Ah. Woo. So that was fun. Oh man. I brought him in the surface a couple times and he decided to make a run under the bridge. Even though the current is going this way. Woo. Look at that tiger shark coming back. Nice, look at him. And he has a barracuda chasing him. That's a good size. I'm not here for him though. We don't want him on our line. We have nothing to lift them up, so. Man, you ruined my chum back. Ah, let me fix this now. I didn't know they'll grab the chum bag. So hungry. To fix the chum bag, whatever is left, just drop it back there. All right, first fish of the day. Yellowtail snapper. We couldn't find the jig, so what we did, we uh, put a split shot here. It's close to a keeper. We're not gonna even bother. Only gonna keep if they're huge. But that's a good size yellowtail snapper, guys. Just a tiny split shot did the trick. So let's let this guy go and grow. Get another one. So all you do is just a tiny hook for yellowtail snapper. Cover all that hook just like that. A yellow tail jigs will be the best, but the split shot technique works. And just drop it down here. Close to my chum. Scare all the, or feed all the needle fish. So that way they don't go after my shrimp. Another yellow tail. Small though. I don't know where the big ones are. This was on the cut bait. Get the small ones, the big ones are chasing. I don't know why the big ones don't get the big ones. At least we're having fun with these guys for now. Sure. Change of species. Oh, that's a nice blue. I'm gonna send this guy out there. Well, I'll try to uh, de-hook him without killing him and send him out there. It's 
So this guy was by my uh, chum block. He was enjoying that chum block there. All right. Big bait for big fish, guys. Like we always say. Thank you. Have a nice one. Ah, come on. Grab your shark. Grab your shark. I'll see if you caught it or just grab the two This guy might make it. Let's see. Nice yellow tail. Okay, we'll have to get the leader. This was on a on a cut bait. This was on a green back actually. That's our measure. Ten inches. Leg growing. All right, back on the DOA. Let's see what we're gonna get this time. Earlier the barracuda cut me. I mean, uh, voodoo shrimp, sorry. Cut one of my voodoo. Uh, increased on 25 pound leader. Which is not crazy a lot, but we'll try. Hoping for a yellow tail. Or Yellow jet, anyway. Finally got one. All right. That's what we're looking for. On a DOA, guys. On a DOA. It's not huge. That will do, just for a start, look at that. Look at the size of this jumbo shrimp. That's a good size for yellow jack, so. Come on, let's not waste this nice shrimp, man. Or mutton stamper. Any of them I'll not mind. Let's go. Yeah, small ones again. They're chewing. Hope is the time that the small ones stop by and then some big fish come in. Look at that. Alright, we got another one. Getting bigger, not where we want him, but he's getting there. All right, he has to be 12 to the fork. Another tenner. Oh well. Let's go, let's go. I guess you catch bigger ones on the DOA because shrimp, a lot of small ones, they go there first. So let's go back. We're just dropping some uh, DOA shrimp now. Oh, that's a good one there. Oh, some good one chasing. Come on. Some big needle fish came back. Let me drop some chum. We're almost in the end of that chum. It's just a few pieces. Finally, another one on the way. All right. They're 
not huge, but hey, we're getting them today. And they're picky. And he swallowed his the other. We thought it was a good one. Small. Man, he took the giant shrimp. Yeah, maybe blue runner. I hope it's a blue runner. We're gonna send him out there. Nice, the yellow check. Man, he took the giant shrimp. Like pike? Yeah, this guy might be like 11. Still not big enough. Good fish though. There you have it guys. Yeah, I'll say 11. Let's put another shrimp and send it in the same spot. And he took that giant shrimp. I thought for sure gonna be a Yellow jack or mud snap. Oh well. Let's go. I like this spot there. So for another. I'll not mind a big yellow tail as well. Black jack, it's not the, the yellow jack, this, this is not the one we are after. We're after the yellow jacks. Oh, come on. I'm trying to keep view of those guys as well. The trimming right now is flat tide. I wish I saved some of this trim for flat tide. I'm gonna fish another hour and call it a day. Good, 
They got tangled on another line. I don't know what happened here. All right, you guys, we're calling it a day. We went in this video where we started. Plenty of bites today. Everything was small. I got uh, two big barracudas. Uh, the first one I couldn't land. I had no drop net. The second one, I had it there and it just cut the line. I wanted to have a... I wanted to land one of those barracudas today, but it didn't happen. Throw a big line out. I got a shark. Cut me off. I only landed small, small stuff today. So... Came all the way here, guys. Catch plenty of fish, but they were tiny. So some time, you know, it's hit or miss. Can't catch them all the time. But overall, I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like always, please like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.